So maybe you've been using an electric furnace all these years and you're thinking of switching to gas and you're wondering how does that happen and what do I need to think about? Well, you're at the right place. I'm with Jim Forcor of Forcor Heating and Cooling. Good to see you again, Jim. And that's the question. Um, how do you, first of all, yeah, maybe a couple of things. How do I switch from an electric to a gas furnace? And having done so, is there anything that's gonna be different about the quality or anything you know should be aware of? Well, the biggest change is gonna be the bill. I mean, right now, I believe straight resistance electric heat is about five times the cost of gas. <clears throat> oh, wow. And, uh, so the argument is gas has to be vented, but we make 97% efficient, so you're only losing 3%. Where electric's 100%, it doesn't have to be vented. Uh, but the cost difference is what usually drives people because uh, an electric furnace can have a good temperature rise if you turn on, you know, want to energize enough electric heat. It's just it, the electric bill is pretty high. Um, the main criterion, do you have gas to the neighborhood? Um, if you have gas to the neighborhood, it can be run to your house. The gas company, a lot of times, will do that for free. Uh, they're kind of like cell phone service. We'll run the gas line up to the house if you'll gotcha. pipe it in from the house and put in a gas furnace, um, they want to sell usage is what they want to sell. Sure. And we do that. We'll put in your gas furnace, take out your electric furnace, run your gas line out to the new meter bar. And the great thing is, is you can have an all electric home with no chimney. We have sidewall vent uh, equipment now. You know, you don't okay. do the chimney at all for both hot water and heat. So, uh, and we've been doing it for years. Uh, it started all the way back when they built the all electric developments in the early 70s because the gas moratorium was on. And they said there's no gas available. So the new builders had to either give them all electric with a heat pump, uh, which was usually the case, or oil or propane. You had to have a deliverable fuel because they said gas was not available. And then, and about five years, 10 years later, they changed their mind. They ran gas lines through these neighborhoods and everybody started converting. So it's very doable and uh, and, and and very it's very comfortable to do it. We, yeah. If you have electric with a heat pump, we can salvage your old heat pump and just turn it into an air conditioner or keep it as an add-on heat pump. So it's not a loss. If you just had a new heat pump put in, uh, the big user is the electric furnace. When that comes on, I call them the toaster wires. They're like the electric elements on your electric stove. Yeah, that's when, yeah. the, meter, that's when the meter really starts to spin, Randy. It's when those okay. electric elements are used. And a gas furnace, instead of using electricity, now we're burning gas at a high efficiency and we keep the house comfortable at a more reasonable price. But you know, hey, that's in interesting information that if somebody currently has a heat pump that you may they may be able to still have a, an air conditioner out of it. Obviously, you guys would have to check out the situation no matter what folks are doing. Uh, is that something you do to just as a first step? If somebody's interested, um, you guys come out and just give an idea of it can be done? Oh, sure. We go out and assess it and give them an idea of what needs to be done. We'll, we'll coach them through it. Uh, what, the, what kind we can give them their costs up front so they have a complete picture of what they're doing and what their benefits will be by doing it. So uh, they most, like I say, people feel good about moving forward with it once they have all the information. Yeah, well, that, that's good uh, to hear and probably pretty encouraging to hear if you've been thinking about making the switch from electric to gas. So uh, if, if you're there and you're ready for the next step, just pick up the phone and call these guys. And if you don't have the number in front of you right now, we'll just head to the uh, website, fourcoreheating.com. And the number will be right there and get Jim and his crew on it. And you'll be toasty warm in no time with a new gas furnace. Thanks a lot for watching.